Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how to download and set up your LQD FX uh, broker. And now I'm going to show you how to actually install that broker onto your VPS, onto your Forex dot, uh, forexvps.net. Okay, here's my software that I downloaded. Here's my, my software for the uh, trade range that I downloaded. Open it up, got both my files in. First thing I want to do, I want to open up my VPS. Here's my VPS, I'm opening it up. Okay, actually what I should have done, let me go back, I should have actually copied both of the software. I'm going to right click over the Trade Ringer and my software to bring it to my VPS, okay? So now, I got my, my VPS is open, I just minimized it. Got my VPS open, right? I'm going to right click and paste that software. See, I got my e-economy, my economy uh, brand. I right click and paste it to software, right? Where did it go? Right here. Okay, that's my software here and my trade ringer. Okay, so next, what I want to do is I want to actually install. Well, I'm going to pull the software out of the zip folder. Okay, I just double click it, right click, I mean, left click, and just drag it out of the zip folder. All right, so now I have the software here and the software here. Okay, it's my DLL file and my .ex4 file. Next, I want to install my LDQFX broker onto my BPS here. So I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to hit next. Once I, once I hit next, it will actually install the LQD software, MetaTrader 4, onto my VPS. However, I'm going to click cancel because it's already it's already installed. If you if you have the ForexVPS.net, you already have the LQ software installed right here. You have Hugo's Way. You have for FX Choice, and you have the other one, um, IC Markets, or Pepper, I'm sorry, Pepperstone right here, okay, and IC Markets right here. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up my LDQFX software. Okay, I have my software here. All right, what I want to do is you're going to come up, you want to sign in. I'm already signed in to mine, as you can tell down here. You see my signal going down at the bottom left here by the clock. And also you see my, my software, my, my account number and my name right here showing that I am logged into my demo account. Okay, this demo account. What I need to do is I need to come over. And, and, and log in to the trading account. What you're going to do is see my number right here? It's the same as this one. I'm going to take this number and right-click and copy it. Then I'm going to minimize my, my VPS. And I'm going to go over to our soft, to our business license, right? Click on in the back of my, in my back office. I'm going to click on licenses. Click on validate. That brings me to this page. So I want to put my license right here. So right-click and paste that license in there. Okay? Then I'm going to click update license information. Now it says your license has been updated successfully. So you want to click here to get started. Okay, so I'm going to go there and get started, right? So next what I want to do is open back up my VPS down here at the bottom. Go back to my VPS. Okay, I'm already logged in. As we can see, I'm logged in, right? So next thing I want to do is I want to go back and minimize my VPS here. Go back to the desktop. And I want to right-click on to my trading software, my Trade Ringer version 2. Right-click on it. Click Copy. Open my software back up, right? My broker, back, my MT4 back up. I'm going to right click here, go to open data folder, MQL4 experts folder. And I'm going to right click and paste my Trade Ringer version 2 software in here, okay? I'm going to delete everything out first. Delete everything out first. Then right click and paste my version 2 software, okay? I've already got it in here, but you would click paste and it would, it would put it in here. Close that folder. Then I'm going to go back and minimize my desktop again. <clears throat> go back and click on the DLL file. Right click on it. Click copy. Okay. Open my, my, my MT4 back up. Come back up to file. Open data folder. MQL4. This time go to the libraries folder. And you want to delete everything out of here. Okay. You just, take, just highlight it and delete it. Then you want to right click and click paste. That would that would actually put in your trade ring or DLL files. Okay. So now you close this folder out. Come over to your expert advisors folder right here. Expert advisors. You're going to right click on it and click refresh. Now yours might look like this when you click refresh. So look over here and see the positive sign. Click on it and it should say trade ring or version two. Okay. So trade ring version two. Now what I want to do. See, I'm logged in. I got my software installed on my on my VPS and on my MT4. I now need to open up the six pairs. Okay, so the first pair I want to open up is the EUR USD. So I'm gonna right click on it and click Chart Window. 
all right now I want to come up and I want to I left click on my software here and drag it to here all right so next I got to insert um, I want to come over and click common click on allow trade allow live trading and allow modification of signal settings okay then I want to go click input okay and then I want to put in my email address and this is the email address from my global takeover website okay then I want to put in my password but I'm gonna do that in a second I'm gonna come down I'm gonna put you're gonna leave all these values the same okay your lot is 0 0.01 come down now notice it says trade on Sundays Mondays Tuesdays and Wednesdays we're not trading on Thursdays and Fridays however if I wanted to trade on Thursday or Friday I would come over and double click and then click yes same for this uh, Friday double click yes however we're not going to so I'm gonna put those back to no okay so all these things should be left alone only thing you really want to change if you ever want to is your fixed lot size but for right now leave it at 0 0.01 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password my slide over here so you won't see my password then I'm gonna click OK I right, see let me click OK all right now my trading is set up okay but and it's on daily but what I want to do to make sure because it's probably gonna yours is probably not saying daily you want to right click on your chart right go down to time frames and you want to click on the daily or the four hour I prefer the daily to be conservative for right now so I would recommend the daily chart okay next I would right click again and click on the template and click save template and once you save the template it's gonna come up you're gonna look for default template if you don't have the word default.tpl in here simply type it right here simply type default.tpl but mine is here so I'm gonna double click it and do I want to replace it yes so now I'm ready to go it's blue it's not red my license is correct because it's right there my name and back my balance okay so next what I want to do is I want to open up the other five pairs so the next pair is the AUD USD right click on it chart window and notice how it came over on top of my other one if I slide it down you'll see it right but that's okay for right now we're gonna go ahead and keep going EUR AUD right click chart window AUD JPI right click chart window EUR JPI EUR JPI right click chart window and then USD JPI JPY right click chart window now all my charts are open but I want to arrange them so I can see them so I'm gonna click on the arrangement button right here arrange windows it's non overlapping files okay click on that now I'm here I'm ready to go okay so my next thing I want to do is I want to click up here go to tools options and I want to click on I want to look right here I want to click on allow live trading now once I do that once I click on allow live trading if today was Sunday Monday Tuesday or Wednesday but see today is Thursday right now this video is being made on a Thursday and we're not trading but when I click that when I click this this turns green my auto trader turns green I would immediately start taking trades and you see it says I would immediately start taking trades okay it says not trading day right now but if I was to go over and, and click on that and change that to third to that Thursday to Friday to true or to yes it would immediately start taking trades right here so now I am set up ready to trade I'm going to turn the trader off so I am set up now and ready to trade you have your software completely set up and ready to trade now when you are closing out your, your your VPS when you're closing out never close out the red X that will disconnect you from the software from the VPS you want to put your mouse at the top the blue bar comes up just click out the X right here okay never click the red X never click the red X Pick your mouse up top to the blue bar click on this X right here all right no and that and that's it 